Hi. In this edition of Stutzi Kina, I want to speak to you about education. And I want to speak to you about three aspects of it with regard to Italian Americans. Uh, because with all the discussions, not only recently, but over the years <clears throat> about how Italian Americans, for example, are perceived by non-Italian Americans here, especially in the United States, I think it's important that we as a community look at three aspects of our community and what we might be able to do. First of all, endowed professorships in Italian American studies at the college and university level. Why do we need them? Because by having them within the college and university, we automatically are able to insert courses on Italian and especially Italian American studies, whether that be in literature, whether it be in film, whether it be in history, uh, sociology, anthropology, and so on. And that's the first thing. What does it do? It gets students interested in the subject matter, be they Italian Americans or not, and perhaps they might want to go on and if not major, at least minor in it. Second, we also get the subject matter taught at the graduate level. So that at the master's level, for example, students who may go out and want to teach some sort of humanities, social science, history, et cetera, within the universe, within the um, well, within the university or within the public school system, they are now equipped with the information to be able to impart to the students. The other thing is we need to really engage in a financial support system for our students, our Italian-American students, also non-Italian-American students who want to study Italian language, who want to teach Italian language, and who want to study Italian culture and Italian-American culture at the MA and at the PhD level so that they go out into the public school system especially and, are, and, and can teach Italian language, Italian culture, et cetera. These scholarships need to be available for students so they can do their master's degree, for example, on a full-time basis, but also that they can take a semester, if not a summer, and be able to go to Italy and, as we would say in Italian, ripristinare, or perhaps in some cases spolverare their Italian. That is, either improve their Italian or sort of dust it off in the sense that they perhaps grew up in an Italian family here where Italian was a little bit mixed with a dialect, et cetera. And this way, at least they get a better hold on standard Italian. Um, the other thing, of course, is the idea of a curriculum. And we haven't, on a national level, really dealt with this issue. The state of New, the, um, the, New, the New Jersey Federation, I think it's the New Jersey Commission on Italian and Italian American Heritage, put together a curriculum a number of years ago. And they are now using it in a number of school districts and with great success. And that's the type of thing that really needs to be brought to the attention of the Italian American community nationwide so that this curriculum can be adapted and used in other school districts across the country. We also need to perhaps come up with something on the college level <clears throat> that can help professors um, teach Italian American culture, whether it's a course unto itself or whether it's part of their other courses, already established courses, something on American history, something on American literature, and so on and so forth. So with that, I leave you with those thoughts. And um, I can tell you this, that in the, sometime in the near future, the Kalander Institute will be calling a meeting um, of leaders of the four major uh, or the four national uh, Italian-American organizations. And by four, I mean in alphabetical order, uh, the National Italian-American Foundation, the National Organization of Italian-American Women, the Order of Sons of Italy in America, and UNICO. Um, these are, I know people always speak in terms of the big three, but we need to also realize that there is this other national organization called the National Organization of Italian American Women. This does not exclude regional organizations that also need to be brought into play. And we will indeed do that too. And with that I say, see you next time. Arrivederci alla prossima puntata.